Welcome to the Top Gun Show. I've got my brother from another mother on the show again, back for a returning visit, Jim Tennant, who's the regional vice president of the Channel of the West for Talk Desk. And uh, prior to Talk Desk, Jim was, as we all know, Jim was head of the channel sales for Evolve IP, United Layer, Shortel, and West IP. He's got an illustrious career, and uh, he is, He's got to be the most respected man I know, man or woman I know in the entire channel. So, Jim, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Steve. Great to see you again. Hey, is that a is that a Top Gun show coffee mug? You know what? By golly, it is. That's amazing. I think I've been on your show in another capacity. It's changed your life, hasn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I love your home office there with Buster Posey and all that stuff going on. Do you miss baseball? Do you miss gotta, baseball? Gotta like baseball. Gotta, baseball. gotta, gotta like baseball. baseball. Season yeah. ticket holder and uh, yeah, yeah, missing it, missing it dearly right now. <laughs> All right, well, let's get down to business. What brought you to Talk Desk? Well, you know, as you as you mentioned, my career spans uh, quite a bit in this. I'll call it the cloud industry. Uh, Talk Desk uh, was extremely appealing to me for the 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 platform that they offer, the scalability, the flexibility with the clients. Um, the, the deployment opportunities and, uh, you know, quite honestly, you, you're reading your trade rag and they talk about the contact center growth. Um, and, you know, now fast forward to COVID-19 and what we're in right now, I couldn't be more pleased about the opportunities that are there and the new use cases that we see every day. Just, just tremendous growth here. You know, now that you bring that up, let, let go deeper on that. You know, given today's economic situation and the challenges with work from home and all that two two real questions there what are you seeing different from the customer's perspective and also from the sales partner's perspective it's it's a great question steve you know i have the opportunity to work with partners from california to texas and uh while you know the the talk track just a month and a half ago was you know how long is that plane flight now it's how long have you been in shelter in place and you know what does the state and the governor say in that area um, the partners are hearing anything from a variety of industries, and we can talk about some of the ones we're seeing from, if I have a project going right now, then I, I need it tomorrow instead of next year. Or if, if I'm hemorrhaging and bleeding, I'm looking for some alternative, but not something that I, I have to rip and replace. So they're looking for something that can help them in the short term and the long term. And if they haven't thought about working from home or allowing their remote people right to, to be productive, they're now knocking on the door saying, tell me more, tell me more. So there's, there's invested interest, there's accelerated opportunities, and quite frankly, there's new use cases that we're seeing every single day that aren't in a traditional sense of a contact center agent. Yeah, you know, we're seeing that too at TPX. Some people are saying, oh, I gotta wait until the virus is over to talk to you. And other people are saying, hey, this is the ideal time to talk to you because We've got these projects we want to work on and, and, and all that. So we're, we're seeing the same thing, you know? So um, talk a little bit about what TalkDesk is doing for the sales partners as far as enabling or assisting the sales partners during this time. Fantastic. And, and it's one thing to say, hey, you know, here's a promotion. Go, go respond to your clients. And it's another one to say, frankly, we've been doing this for a while. So we kind of know what this is. So this has prompted us to really look back at our portfolio and what do we have that we can say, how do we campaign this so you, Mr. Partner, can be more successful? Clients don't want to hear from somebody who they don't know, who they don't know from. So they're relying on their trusted advisors to say, Steve, who do you know in the industry that can help me out? Here's here's my problem. Um, so we're offering a number of things, Steve. We're offering something called Boost. Uh, let me help you boost what you're doing. If you have a premise solution today, and you don't have time to look at infrastructure, rip that out, you're in contract, you're in maintenance, whatever it might be, overlay a contact center on top of your existing via Mitel uh, Cisco solution, right? So the ability to have a contact center without a rip and replace. Um, probably more importantly, if someone's saying, all of a sudden, all my employees need to work from home tomorrow, how fast can you deploy something? So we call it 24 hour the ability to deploy and set the right expectations and providing a solution that while it might be a phase in, but to be able to say to someone, we can spin you up in a very short period of time. And in fact, spinning people up in a 24, 36 hour period is, is not out of the question. 
Um, right now, a lot of people are looking for CRM integration and the ability to work from their cell phones at home, right? I need my DID to be on this. So we call it mobile agent. The ability to have the same look and feel in the office, the same CRM integrations right on their mobile agent, right, right, on, their, right on their smartphone and work from home to do that as well. And you'll see these campaigns with uh, travel, hospitality, uh, insurance, finance, education, uh, even retail, even retail trying to push notifications out of their new store hours or that, you know, they can do, you know, curbside pickup, those kind of, those kind of use cases. Huge, tremendous. Yeah, I don't think there's a better time to be in this business it, it, as far as right now, you know, it's crazy. You know, you know, we don't want to be the company that says, oh, you were the company that was trying to throw a product or a promotion down my throat, right? We want to be the ones that say we wanted to help you in the time of need. So empathy, empathy is, is key. You have to understand where the clients are. And uh, if they're not willing to look at something or haven't had this on their bandwagon, um, it now may not be the time. But I'm telling you, there's, there's enough out there right now with people that are encouraged and with the right forethought and the right approach to the business, um, that customer experience can, can, can be maintained, if not better than today. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Jim, you know that we always close the show with something personal, but not too personal for our millions and millions of viewers. I'm gonna tell you something personal and you tell me something personal, little known fact. Little known fact about me, I'm, ta I'm talk desk certified. I went through your program when I was running uh, Top Speed Data, and uh, it really brought me up to speed on CCAS. It was an incredible training program. Let's hear something about you. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed that you're TalkTest certified because we encourage all of our people to be TalkTest certified. Um, something about me uh, that someone may not know, um, um, you can look at the LinkedIn, you can look at my history there, but uh, a lot of people don't know that I try to and want to be a musician. In fact, uh, at my own wedding, I tried to play a song on the trumpet, and uh, I think I got about 22 seconds out. So in my spare time, when I can, I try to try to play that trumpet and see if I can't keep my musician in tune. Well, I'm sure your marriage will last longer than your trumpet solo there. So <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, Jim, hey, Jim, thanks for being on the show today, and I want to thank everybody for watching. Great to be back. Thanks, Steve. Cheers. Be safe. Stay home. Be healthy.